So everyone wonders, is this going to kill the Kindle? Is it a viable reader? Are people going to want to read newspapers, magazines, and books? I say yes. Me too. I say, I mean, just having a little look at the Wall Street Journal on here or the New York Times, it, it looks like a real newspaper. So you can see multiple stories. Whatever you're interested in, you just touch it. It comes up on the screen, and there you go. And that's kind of how we're used to reading newspapers anyways. We have everything in front of us. We kind of uh, tear through the pages, and most newspapers on the web look like web pages, not exactly. newspapers. Exactly. What I love about this, though, is that you just click on the story, and instead of having to like turn to page A12, and then you're shuffling through the front page section, right. it's just bam, you just swipe, and then there it is, the rest of the story. And you can finish reading one complete story before you get distracted by the 16 other stories that are in between. And people used to say that technology is killing reading, but it feels like now it's almost like just looking at the books app, it makes me want to read. Totally. Me too. Because you don't have to wait. You don't have to order your book on Amazon and wait for it. You don't have to go to the bookstore. If you want to buy a book and you're like, oh, I'm kind of interested in this, you just touch it. It's so easy. And then I, th I think if I had one of these, I'm going to wait till the second generation. But when I get one of these, I think I will read more books. I also think when you think about books, you go into a bookstore, the colors that are in the books and the, and the, the way the books are made, it, it's kind of exciting. And the Kindle to me is a monochromatic display that makes every single book look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And I think what's great about the way iTunes has done it is they're simulating the visual experience of reading a book from the page turn to the color illustration. It just feels more exciting than yeah. the Kindle. It's, it's a much more tactile experience and sort of the relationship that you would have with a book. And I would, I would carry this around and I would read, definitely. Now, the iPad ships with the, the book app for free and gives you Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh as your free story. Free. There are a bunch of books in the app store that are free, though, so you will be able to check those out without having to pay anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just general thoughts. Do you think it's a game changer? Do you think it's... I, I think this is absolutely amazing. It really does change the way you interact with your media. And as someone who has a heavy MacBook Pro, I am excited to lay in bed with this <laughs> instead of my heavy <laughs> MacBook Pro, which has half of it a keyboard that I hardly really ever use when I'm surfing the web or watching video. Totally. What about um, you? For me, if I traveled more, I mean, this would be the ideal travel companion. I'd have my iPhone and I'd have this. I mean, and if you travel with kids, we were just saying you could this would replace your portable DVD player. Mm -hmm. This would replace your laptop on short trips. I mean, it is, and it would replace the books and magazines that I would carry with me on an airplane. So if I traveled more, I think it would be a definite, definite purchase. For right now, I'm going to wait on buying it, but I do think it's a new category. It's not just a reader. It's not just a tablet. It does so much more. And I'm a huge, I'm very impressed. And, and I today. know a lot of you techies out there are laughing because you're like, I can get a netbook for around the same price that does flash and it does multitasking and it does all that. But you have to remember, this isn't a netbook. It's, it is different. And it is kind of what they say. You got to put it in your hand yeah. and hold it and play with it for it a bit. Feels to really really it feels really good. Yeah. I mean, that's what, they, that's what you can't get by just watching videos of it. Well, as you can see, the apps for this are going to be limitless, but that's what our show is for, appaday.tv. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and let us know which apps you'd like us to cover on the show. Yeah, and then on April 12th, we'll be back daily covering all the apps you love and maybe the ones you don't even know about yet. So be sure to tune in. And if you check us out on the iTunes store, be sure to leave us a good review. Right. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Later. Bye. Can I go? Okay, you first. <laughs> we can share. Look at that.